Hey there, my name is Justin Hurd. I'm 25 years old and I live in Plano, Illinois. My current weight is 450 pounds and I am auditioning to hopefully be one of the next contestants on season 14 of Biggest Loser. First we have Justin, whose entire YouTube presence involves people daring him to eat large quantities of food as quickly as possible. I'm getting ready to eat 40 pizza rolls. Oh, thank you, Justin. Man, you were great in seven. Justin, pace yourself, son. You're gonna explode. <laughs> Actually, can, can we just get another look at what Justin is doing to his poor body? Can we get a look at <laughs> Sure, that seems unhealthy, but judging by the sounds he's making, eating pizza rolls counts as an aerobic exercise. Damn, that was rough. <laughs> yeah, it was rough to watch, too, Justin. Oh. Uh, that was basically a commercial for sadness. Ever hear a chicken in a can? Bon appetit. Hey, you got our beauty challenge? Say, I said, let's dominate this chicken in the can for you. Lay some meat on this. All right. Chicken in the can. This is Justin, cameraman of Trevor, and we are out. By the way, this is what you do when you're really mad at your heart. One thing that's affected me is my internet popularity. Because I've had a video appear on G4's Attack of the Show and Web Soup. With, and that same video appeared on Comedy Central's Tosh.0. And Tosh.0 also had me do a chicken in a can video. Since then, I've kind of been able to get that internet popularity that I've been able to transform into an inspirational video blog where people can follow my progress on my Facebook page or on my YouTube channel. And I think right now I have about 1.8 million views total on that page, on my YouTube page, and with like 1,800 or so subscribers. So I consider myself to have a little healthy, active community that's following me. And that feels great because it allows me to work for something, it allows me to show other people that it is possible to make the change that you want. It just takes that hard work and dedication, and I hope to be able to show these guys and gals that it's possible to succeed and reach that end point and hopefully that can happen with the show I think I would be a great inspiration to millions of people who watch the show I mean I feel like I have the personality for it I've been told by others I have the personality for it and that they would love to see me on the show and drop the next 200 250 pounds I need to lose February 12th one of the hardest things that's ever happened to me occurred that was the day that my mom passed away had the heart attack that old around 3 a.m. is when we got the phone call saying that, you know, we had to rush to the hospital because that would be the last time that we would probably see her alive. She was already gone by the time we got there. We kind of failed her in a way because with not caring about myself health-wise, when I've seen the problems that she had, she had arthritis, obviously the heart issues, um, numerous problems on top of that, the diabetes, which I have, even though I do have it under control, I still saw how that affected her. This is a life that I do not want to follow her footsteps in. It's in the family. I know it's something that I'm prone to, which is why I need to lose the weight. I do not want to end up like my mom right here in the grave when she was 46. Something that I need help with at the moment is nutrition and proper things to eat. I know for the part, most part what I should be eating, but it's not happening. So I'm going to take you on a tour of my fridge or kitchen really quick. And as you can see, this is the full kitchen. My stuff is over here. So you have the egg whites, carrots, salsa, um, cottage cheese, grapes, turkey sausage, chicken. You know, there's some yogurt down there too. So it's not entirely bad for you, but it's not the best either. Up here, you have a lot of canned stuff. Canned fruit, canned beans, corn, vegetables. Pudding, tortillas, a uh, little peanut butter and jelly mixture thingamajiggy, rice, noodles, all that stuff. Once again, not horribly, but it's all processed. And this is where the good stuff comes in. Gorilla bars, apples, hamburger helper, and all that stuff. So it's not the thing that I know I could get a grip on, and that would also better me in the future. Food was never really something I thought about. It was just whatever I wanted to shove in my mouth, I did. And 
I was probably, even though I like to deny it, I was probably 300, 350 pounds throughout high school. And I had never thought that's the weight that I was, to be honest with you. So, after high school, I moved to Champaign for a couple of years, tried the whole college thing, and wound up dropping out because the weight had kind of taken away all my energy, plus my eating habits, so I wasn't going to school and I was focusing on working the entire time or being on the computer. And obviously when you are not focusing on school, you're not going to succeed with that. And after that point, I moved out to Maryland with one of my buddies. And he, and that's where things kind of went downhill. Because I got a job working for Domino's Pizza, and when you're working for Domino's, you get 50% off. And I took advantage of that. <laughs> And I probably gained 50 to 100 pounds just working at Domino's over 10 months. I would eat two large pizzas in one night just from taking it home and not letting anybody see me. And that would be a common occurrence. It's not like it happened once a month or even once a week. It was two to three times a week that I was eating that much. After the Domino's job, I received a job working for the U.S. Census Bureau. At this job, I made 20 bucks an hour, which, if you're making 20 bucks an hour when you're 22, you're gonna spend. <laughs> and I didn't even care, because instead of grocery shopping, I would order delivery three to four times a week. I was spending 120 bucks on delivery, and I didn't even think anything of it. So, from that job, I probably gained... Probably another 50 to 100 pounds to be honest. Because when I moved back home here to Illinois on December 28, 2010, my dad and my stepmom took me to the hospital for a checkup because that was the only place I could do one on me. And that's where I found out I was 656 pounds. To me, 656 was never a possible number. Even when I heard it, I thought the scale was wrong. But in all reality, that's where I allowed myself to get in life. And it was, <laughs> to this day, I still don't want to believe that's the number that I was, but it's true. One of the other things about losing weight is the whole loose skin aspect. And I know you say show why you need to lose the weight. I think this would be a perfect indication of why. Because, you know, all the loose skin, starting to lose skin. The whole angel wings aspect on my leg, I have a nice little loose skin area that's starting and that's one thing I hate, but I know for the surgery you generally can't get it if you're still heavy. So that's another reason why I would love to be on the show, so that way I can actually get my physical appearance going. The thing that losing all this weight's helped me with is now I can actually drive a car legally while wearing my seatbelt. Before I had to, would have to buckle it and then throw the buckle it behind me and then throw the lap belt over me. But now that I've actually lost the weight, I can actually wear my seatbelt legally. As I will demonstrate. And it actually fits pretty comfortably and I actually have some give to it now too. So it not only makes my experience driving a car a lot safer, but it's also actually legal now, which is a bonus. The other thing is the amount of room I have in between the seat, I mean the steering wheel and the seat. Before I used to be like right up on here, and now there's a little bit of room there so I can actually move the steering wheel appropriately and have some give to it. One of the other things that being overweight makes it hard to find shirts that'll fit me. This is a 6X so obviously you can only get it places like Big and Tall. Casual mail, which makes shopping at Walmart, Target, Kohl's, JCPenney, Macy's, wherever you want to think of, out of the question. But one shirt I would like to get, I guess one jersey, is my Cubs jersey. This is actually a 3X. And I would love to get to the point to where it fits even more comfortable than it does now. Because I can't button it up at all right now. And this is one that I would definitely love to wear more consistently. Go no more. Yeah, he's not with Cubs anymore. No, my... One of the things that the whole weight has kind of affected has been relationships. And as much as I hate to say it, I'm a 25-year-old virgin. 
Never really made out with a girl. Last time I kissed a girl legit was probably when I was 14 back in high school. Other than that, I've never really attempted to form a relationship because I never thought anybody could would be happy with someone who looked like I do. And I never thought of the personality aspect, like I might have a good personality, but there's just gonna judge the book by the cover, so to speak. And that whole being lo alone thing, you know, not having a girlfriend and everything, that's kind of affected me in a lot of ways because it makes me think that I'm a loser. You know, I'm destined to be unhappy in that category. And I just feel like if I had that, that would motivate me to push even harder. That would motivate me to get my journey done and it would motivate me, mot motivate me to stay happy because of having that person around who will push me and always be there whenever we need each other, you know. And that whole loneliness aspect kind of falls in line with what happened this past April, on my birthday, April 13th. And I actually tried to commit suicide. It was one of those things where I was feeling depressed, down, lonely, whatever you want to say, all night, tried to call people, nobody answered. Plans I had eventually boiled over and got cancelled because they wound up doing something else. So I just said screw it and went and bought a lot of alcohol and drank it all that night. I wound up spending 15 hours in the emergency room and then I was transferred to a medical or medical slash mental health facility for four days and from there there to now I kind of got the help I needed plus I know people are really there for me when I need them and I just gained a new aspect on life from that experience and hopefully I won't fall back into that category again and I will cherish the people I have and maybe I might form a relationship out of the things I've learned and this will also help me push forward in life with my goals and my journey and just everything else. Right now I'm an aqua fitness instructor at the YMCA and I am presently working out six days a week, twice a day for the most part. And that includes a lot of swimming, uh, working with Jenny, Ben, and Danielle who are personal trainers at the YMCA. We're doing full body workouts, um, you know, a lot, little bit of dumbbells, walking lunges, step ups, the basic stuff, but it's a good workout because they're not neglecting any part of the body whenever I do it. It's also allowing me to push out of that comfort zone, which is something I really needed. And that's, YMCA is probably one of the best things that's also ever happened to me. I've been going there since the end of February and I've lost around 70 pounds since then. And it's allowed me to pretty much gain a new lease on life. Because I'm learning how to socialize, I'm learning how to better myself, plus hopefully I'm bettering others too just from being there. Just going there with a no judgment area, nobody's going to think twice of you because of your weight. They're all just going to push you and encourage you to keep going. And that's what I need right now. And it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's truly a great thing that I've been able to find that environment that's encouraging and it's going to allow me to continue my success with or hopefully with the show. I know they'll be behind me 110% and if I don't win the prize, I know they'll make sure I win the at home prize. Biggest Loser to me is more than just a weight loss show. I know it gets the bad rep because it can be a game show and people play the games and all that. But it's an opportunity for me to show America that it is possible to come back from nothing to something. It is possible to go from one foot in the grave to where I am now, to be a successful human being. And I would love the opportunity to show America that. So I hope you guys consider me, and I hope you guys love my story to some aspect, and I would be happy to show America I am the biggest loser. Thank you.